Hey everybody, it's K-Beast, and for this week's video I am painting a phoenix. So this first little clip here is showing some of the research I did before starting the large piece. I looked online and found some reference and did a couple of sketches, and then I did a value study, and then at the end I did a few color comps before moving on to the final piece. Um, this is a process I haven't really used since I left Mass Art three years ago, and it was kind of fun to uh, explore that process again. Um, I also wanted to use this process because this is the first piece in a series that I want to really do right, so I'm, I'm going all in, I'm doing all kinds of research and things for each one to make sure that I do it well, <laughs> or I'm going to try to anyway. Um, basically, I'm. this is a once a month video series, they're going to go out uh, the last Saturday of every month, and it's an original art series. Um, I'm sure you've noticed on my channel, I do an awful lot of fan art, and I want to get in the habit of doing more original art, so I'm trying, I'm, I'm basically making a small challenge for myself um, of, a, of a subject matter that I will explore every month in an in a effort to get me to practice uh, my process a little better, doing like the color comps and the research and everything, and to get me to draw more original content. So. Uh, so the most of the steps here are pretty much the same things I've always done. I did um, sketches on computer paper to get my final sketch. I transferred it to watercolor paper using my light box and using various inking tools. I did a little bit of work with my um, brush and bottle of ink and a little bit with my Pentel pocket brush pen. And then I did a little bit with um, some multi-liners, uh, Copic SB multi-liners for small details. Um, so most of that's pretty much the same. And then I went in, masked off some areas, and started painting. Um, one of the big things that's different about this is I actually did this on different paper. This is Arches Hot Press Watercolor Paper, uh, 9 by 12, still the same size I've been using. But I've had this pad of paper since Mass Art, <laughs> and I never used it. And I felt that this particular series was a good time was a good time for me to pull out the nicer paper, because I've been using the Canson watercolor paper this whole time. Which isn't bad, but it's definitely cheaper, so I wanted to use the nice stuff. And it definitely felt different. I've never used hot press before, and I guess hot press paper um, dries faster. I noticed that the watercolor didn't stay as wet as long as it does on, on cold press. So that was a bit of a learning experience. This whole piece was, really. But anyway, uh, let me get back to, get back into what the subject is. Um, like I said, I'm painting a phoenix, and this particular series of paintings I'll be doing is going to be a series of mythical creatures. So every month is going to have a different one, and I've already picked all 12 of them. Um, so if, as long as another one doesn't crop up and interest me more than what I've already picked, I'm going to stick with that list. Um, and I'm taking, like, I'm, I'm doing each one the same where I'm pretty much spending the entire month doing research. So I'm going to spend like a week on sketches, I'm going to spend a week on value studies, a week on color comps, and then I'll paint the actual thing. I want to really like, you know, do this right, I guess. So for this one, um, I didn't want to go with the traditional phoenix that you see a lot in like Harry Potter and other things. Um, I did a little research into the actual mythology of it and found that the Phoenix myth from Greek mythology was actually heavily inspired by an Egyptian god called Banu, and he was the god of the sun. He was a sun god. There were several sun gods in Egyptian mythology, but he was one of them. He was the god of time, and he represented regeneration and rebirth, and I thought that was very fitting for January, for the first piece. So I did a little research into Banu, and all of the Egyptian artwork featuring him showed a very large heron with two plumes coming off the back of his head. And part of the myth stated that Banu stood on this little mound in the middle of the Nile River while it was in flood. And as the sun rose, it cried out, and that cry was the beginning of time, essentially. It marked the beginning of time. and. He was also the god of the measurement of time, so that was kind of the whole thing. So I kind of used that as inspiration for the scene. So he's on the Nile, and I drew papyrus reeds, and I actually looked up how the ancient Egyptians drew papyrus on their walls, that very geometric shape 
that they always use, and I use that as reference, and I've got the sun rising and everything. Um, but I played around with the actual bird a little bit. So my references that I used were uh, a Goliath heron, which is a which is the largest heron in the world, and it is native to Egypt, and it's gigantic. Like this thing is a beast, and it has a kind of a charcoal gray body, but the underside of its belly and the insides of its wings are sort of like a a reddish brown, like a rust color. So I kind of played with that a little bit, but is his face is actually. Um, the face of an Egyptian vulture. And they have, like all vultures, they have either short feathers or no feathers on their head, and their face is like this golden yellow, and I thought that color scheme would work well for a phoenix. So I pretty much mashed those two birds together, and then just gave up longer tail feathers and just kind of played around with the plumage to make it prettier and a bit more magical, um, and just kind of went with it. So... My final thoughts on this piece um, are a little mixed. I really enjoyed the process. Um, like it was a process, again, I haven't really used since I was in school. So the whole research and preparation for the final piece was fun to do and, and I'm looking forward to continuing that and hopefully using that to uh, make my art better. Um, and as a result, I'm actually really pleased with how the colors turned out in this final piece. I really like the color palette. I wasn't sure at first going in, but once I got the values and all the other colors laid out, I really liked how it, it looked at the end. So those color comps were definitely helpful in that regard. I also I pulled a whole bunch of reference photos um, of the birds that I, that I used, and I also had two sh shots of the Nile, and one of them was a bit monochromatic, um, like early sunrise or something. It was kind of a golden hued picture and then the other one had a more traditional sunrise with pinks and blues and stuff and it was the second one that I wound up using as my color reference but yeah I really liked how my colors turned out and I also liked my composition um, I really tried to make sure I had a foreground a midground and a background in this and I like how all the elements work together the one thing that I'm not 100% satisfied with however is the bird itself um, Mostly because in my head it looked better. <laughs> like, creature design is something that's still kind of new to me. And uh, while I've always loved drawing animals, and, and animals is, is what got me drawing in the first place and is what I have more experience with, I still think in terms of animal anatomy, I still have a lot to learn. So I still just think this, this thing is recognizable as being pulled from a, a heron and an Egyptian vulture. Like, you can see both birds in it. But... It's not quite as good as I want it to be. I don't know. I, I think I just want to get better at animal anatomy, basically. So I think that's something else that this series is going to help me with because most, if not all, of my mythical creatures that I'm using are animal-based. Some of them um, are like a mix of like animal and human, but I'm not going to make them like... As he, I'm not going to really focus on the humanoid part. I'm going to try to push it more towards the creature side for all of them. So I think this will give me an opportunity to practice my animal anatomy a lot more. As well as the whole process of creating. So I'm pretty excited to see how it'll work out. Oh, sorry, I had to pause in this recording briefly because my brother just got home. So I'm trying to remember where I just left off. Um... One of the last things that I did for this piece is I just kind of, I took my fine text and I just kind of went nuts, pretty much. Um, I knew I wanted to do an outline um, using the, I used the gold pearl color, um, which is, in the gold palette, is the um, fourth little palette thing. Um, and I knew I wanted to outline the phoenix with it, and then I just kind of went a little nuts and added a whole lot more on the feathers, and... Um, around the head and in highlighted areas and to outline the papyrus in the front two corners and along the clouds and the rock and I, I just kind of went nuts and um, I, I, I think it looks good like I really like shiny stuff and these fine texts are amazing so I had to play with it um, and then at the end I used my white gel pen to just make a few other places pop and bring out some highlights and also to add some reflectiveness, reflectiveness to the water um, so yeah, I kind of use a little bit of everything. The uh, the white on the water, by the way, like I'm really, really pleased with how the river turned out. 
uh, I did all the shading on the river just using a flat uh, watercolor brush and I just used the tip of it and just kind of moved side to side and I really like how that looked and I really need to get some more flat brushes because I only have the one and it's really small so I, I'm thinking of doing that this weekend um, speaking of this weekend I'll be out of town so I'm actually recording this ahead of time this is Wednesday night that I'm recording this um, so some social media posts regarding this video might be a little late because I'll be doing it from you know not from my computer anyway um, I am thinking of putting this up for sale but it will not be up on my store this weekend because again I'm not home <laughs> so um, if you want to keep updated on that kind of stuff just follow me on Twitter or Instagram and uh, store upda updates and other things will uh, be posted there so yeah um, I had a lot of fun on this piece despite you know the few things that I wasn't too thrilled with but overall I still think it was a little fun experience and I'm really excited for this series um, you guys can ask what mythical creatures I'm doing. I may not necessarily answer it. Um, if there's any mythical creatures you're excited to see, let me know because you might suggest one that I find is more interesting to do than the ones I've already decided. I don't really know yet, but I'm pretty excited about it. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Toodles!